Well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get started and anybody else that joins, they'll just join in progress. Um, I'm Ed Dixon. I don't know where really to look. I'll, I'll try and look at the camera and see how that works. Um, Ed Dixon, I'm the owner of the Edward A. Dixon Gallery. Um, I'm excited uh, getting close to the, the uh, opening for uh, We're Doing It All Wrong exhibition. Today is the virtual opening reception of uh, the public uh, we'll start visiting the exhibition uh, May 7th, first Friday. Uh, but for today, uh, I wanted to really invite the artists to, uh, especially since it's virtual, we got so many people from uh, across the country uh, and actually some in different countries uh, that are part, part of the exhibit. So I wanted to really get you guys on, on a uh, virtual call so we could you know, talk about the exhibit uh, I'll walk around the exhibit at some point uh, with my phone so you can get an idea of the layout and uh, give you a little uh, brief preview of the website, which is going to have all the artwork on it as well, and um, introduce you to the uh, judges. Um, but for now, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the gallery. Uh, the Edward A. Dixon Gallery has been in, in existence for about four years now. Um, was a victim of uh, COVID, the gallery was of the pandemic. Uh, we were in a different uh, location down the street, uh, but because of the pandemic, uh, we left out of that space, moved to a smaller space uh, in the building that I'm in now, that this pop-up exhibit is in also. And that's worked out pretty well, but you know, definitely looking forward to uh, the pandemic easing, which I think is, st is starting to, and then moving to a, a larger location again. So uh, I can do more events like this. Um, I Again, this is in a pop-up space that's right down the hall from the actual gallery, but um, it was so hard to narrow down the amount of art for this exhibition. We ended up with uh, 43 uh, selections and it was just too large for uh, my space. So I rented this space down the hall um, for three months and the exhibit will be here. It's right off uh, one of the main streets here in Dayton. And so we should get some pretty good traffic. Um, the It was in the paper just yesterday, uh, the exhibit. Um, so there's pretty good buzz about it, I think. So I'm really hopeful uh, with that, that we'll have a good turnout. Everybody will get to see this great work. But um, uh, people always ask me, you know, we're doing it all wrong. What does that mean? And I think it usually takes most people a few times to hear it to really sink in. Um, and it doesn't, I wouldn't say literally mean we do it all wrong, but somewhere along the line, I think the human race probably took a wrong turn and we need to get back on course at some point. Um, we have a lot of issues, a lot of them are in the news, some of them are not. And in this exhibit, you'll see that variety, you know, things like the environment that you hear about all the time. You know, there's things related to that, but also uh, different issues, um, dealing with um, species, different species, um, dealing with, um, uh, missing indigenous women, uh, different different um, issues. And that's really what this exhibit is about, is trying to highlight those issues and hopefully get more people talking about these issues and, and then which will hopefully one day lead to some action where an exhibit like this, which I plan on it being an annual exhibit at this point, maybe one day it won't be needed because we're doing so much better and, you know, We'll see how that goes, but you know, right now it's going to be an annual exhibit, and and um, hopefully it'll be bigger and better each year. But uh, this year was a really, really good uh, uh, turnout. We had hundreds of uh, submissions, uh, like I said, from all over the U.S. Um, almost every state in the U.S. probably sent in a, a submission. We had submissions from Israel, New Zealand. Iran, the United Kingdom, Canada, Italy, uh, several countries. So um, I think a lot of people get the premise of the exhibition and you know want to participate. So I definitely look forward to that uh, going forward. Um, I want to introduce you to the judges. 
Um, I don't want to talk too much about myself. I want them to talk a little bit about themselves and their experience uh, judging so far. So Erin uh, McCarthy is one of our judges. She's uh, from Boston, Massachusetts. She's a sculptor, and sculptor, not a sculptor. She's a sculptor and um, she travels the world, um, you know, uh, improving and learning about her craft. And if you get a chance to see her work, you'll be really impressed. So I advise you to check out her, your, her website when you get a chance. But uh, I'm gonna let her, I'm gonna mute myself and let her go ahead and say. All right, great. Thank you, Ed. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to, to be here. And, and I just want to say that I love what um, Ed and the Ed Dixon Gallery is doing with this show. Um, I discovered it, you know, on call for entry and I, I reached out to him and basically, you know, thanked him for doing a show like this. I think it's great. Um, I think more galleries should do shows like this, uh, personally, not only for the obvious reasons that, you know, um, it, uh, the show will attract works that will affect people, you know, in strong ways, um, but also as an artist myself, I've, um, I've often thought, and I do believe that what we choose to make as artists, um, ultimately it determines what we spend our time thinking about. And, you know, it only makes sense that if we're reflecting on things that we're doing wrong and on the way that we live our lives, um, it would make us better people. So I think, um, it's really inspiring topic as an artist. And I think that people, the viewers of the show will, um, the works uh, as everyone will see will resonate. And I think the impact it can have is so great. Um, so I wanna thank all the artists for contributing and to congratulate um, the finalists. Um, as a judge, uh, it, it wasn't easy to judge this exhibition because um, there were so many really, uh, really impactful works and, and great works, um, all different type of, of genres and themes. Um, for me, uh, it would have been really difficult to judge if Ed hadn't provided us with a rubric of how to, you know, judge the works. I think each person will really resonate with certain works. I mean, in this show, there was one work, it affected me so much, I, I actually dreamt about it. So, I mean, I think people will find these type of very deep and personal uh, reactions to the work. So uh, that's something that I'm looking forward to seeing what the public has to say and also what the artists have to, to gain from uh, looking at each other's works. I'm sure we'll be inspired by each other in many ways. So thank you. Thank you for involving me in this. Yeah, thanks. Uh, again, thanks for being a part of it. Um, it was quite a bit of entries to go through and um, like you said, it, it was pretty tough, you know, uh, to, to get through them all and, you know, try and, you know, single, single a few out. So, um, okay. let me not meet myself. So I want to introduce you also to Ann Kim. She is a local, uh, person here to the Dayton area, uh, an artist that I've been watching for many years, uh, but she's also an educator. Um, again, a, a, a traveler as well, but again, I'll let you, I'll let her uh, speak about all that, but uh, I appreciate all the work that she's put in. Uh, she's come into the gallery and, you know, helped a few times getting the show together, so I really appreciate that too. So, uh, Ann, go ahead and floor is yours. Hi, um, well, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us. And I just want to thank Ed again, as um, just want to echo what Erin was saying. I think this is such an amazing exhibition. And um, throughout the process, I um, every day I was so impressed with Ed's like dedication and vision and also the hustle, right? Um, no, seriously, like 
curating a show, an exhibition like this, um, it's not easy, right? It really truly involves so much um, kind of the, the belief and the faith, right? In the work that we're doing or he's doing, right? Thinking it, it's meaningful and it's important. Um, and Erin, when you're talking about, um, you know, the reason about artists spending time on the work, you know, like deep thinking about these issues that they're making work about, I was also kind of thinking about um, how we're also culture makers, right, as artists. So like feeling the culture with, sorry, <laughs> feeling this culture with um, the products that we're creating, right? And that means something because we're creating something that wasn't there before and it's reflecting things that we are concerned with, right? And we're thinking about, and hopefully um, I have, you know, I have to be optimistic, right? And I have hope that it is, you know, maybe in a number of years, as Ed was saying, maybe we wouldn't even have to have a show like this because we're doing something right uh, or well. Um, although I think there will always be something to be done, right? Because that's also kind of as artists we have to be doing, right? Continuously look for, um, look for ways to make the world a better place, not just for us humans, but for everything and everyone and every being that's involved, right, on earth. Um, but, but speaking of the exhibition itself, I was um, really floored with just not only the number of works that were um, submitted and represented, but also the quality um, and the, the, the array um, of approaches um, and media and kind of creative thinking and artists from all different backgrounds and also ones that were formally educated and had art backgrounds and some that were not. I mean, I think the show is such a diverse show. Like it really reflects this kind of diverse voice, which makes it, um, it's beautiful. I think it like really attests to also the vision that I feel like Ed was trying to create. Um, so thank you, Ed, for having, you know, creating this opportunity for, you know, both artists and also as as jurors, I was, um, I was very humbled and it actually really inspired me to be honest, the pandemic was a really difficult time for me to make, right? It was, I think um, it was just kind of this like, heavy, difficult time, maybe in the beginning, I was like, okay, I'm gonna make all these arts, you know, it's my way of dealing with this. Um, but then as time went on, I think there was this kind of emotional weight um, and with also the election and everything else happening. But during this show, to be honest, as an experience kind of got me rejuvenated too. It kind of really got, like I got inspired by looking at these works that I was looking at that people were making. So I want to, from a personal uh, point of view, I also want to thank the artists, <laughs> right? Because I think it was such an amazing experience for me as well as an artist to be able to be part of it. So, thank you. Thanks, and uh, you can see just from listening, I, I made some, I made some uh, great choices with the judges this year. Um, yeah, like I said, they were uh, amazing and, and so helpful with getting this uh, together. And then we still have uh, a little bit more work to do because we have a couple of categories to, to choose the uh, best in show and the other category. So that will happen uh, over the course of the exhibition and be announced uh, at the end of the exhibition. Um, let's see. And what I wanted to do next is kind of give you your first preview of the show via the website. So it's gonna be an online exhibition as well. Uh, the web is still in progress. So you'll just get a preview today, but uh, when the physical show opens on Friday, on Friday, the website will be uh, available uh, as well. So let me just switch my screen here. <laughs> Getting there. 
All right, there we go. And again, it's still in progress. And can I get rid of this thing here? And I know the web developer was making some changes today. So, but I'm going to give you the layout for it. There's going to be two galleries, which I haven't talked about yet, that I asked the uh, artists when they submitted their work to choose whether they thought it was a gray issue or a black and white issue. What did they think society, from their viewpoint, what did they think society thought about the issue that they represented in their artwork? Did they think it was something that, um, you know, society was like, yeah, this is definitely an issue. We need to do something about it. Or was it more of those, uh, one of those things where it was uh, either people didn't recognize it as an issue at all, or they just felt like, well, we know what's going on, but hey, it's, you know, it's not that big a deal. Of course, you know, especially when it doesn't affect you. Personally, that's where a lot of things end up in that gray area. But I did ask each artist to do that. So there's two galleries that will be uh, on the website and one will be black and white and one will be gray. And so I'm gonna enter, try to enter that real quick. And these video screens, the Zoom is kind of getting in my way, but so we'll have, and these are the artworks from this gallery. The gray area by far got the most responses. Um, I think it was 12 black and white, 31 that said gray area. So that, you know, that just kind of tells me that people are looking, or at least they feel like society is not really tackling or addressing a lot of these issues. So what we're gonna have here again on the website is once you click on one, you can hover over it and see who it is, the title, and then uh, it'll take you to another page specifically for that artwork where you can view it. But then what you really wanna do is check out the art info and read up on the artist statement from that artist and then their description of the artwork. So that's the thing I, I really encourage people to do. I mean, we'll get a lot from the visuals, but I really want people to um, read what the artist had to say on their particular issue so you can get their viewpoint you know, from that particular issue. So, uh, on to back here about the exhibition. So I'm just gonna to go to one more page here, the about the exhibition. Um, and again, I know there's some things going on here with the page that the developer is working out, but uh, besides info on the exhibition itself, though there's a page for the judges. Let me see, is it not clicking it? There I go, I got it. Where you can you'll be able to read up a little bit more about our judges and there'll be links to their websites and then i wanted to also create a page that just exclusively listed all the artists but when you go through this page you can see the location of the artists that, that are in the exhibition so there's quite a range, Louisiana, 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 uh, Ohio, Colorado, United Kingdom, California, South Dakota, Texas, New Mexico, again, Iran, Israel, Maryland, just so you can see that there's a wide range of uh, geography represented in this exhibition. So again, at the end of next week, this site will be live and it'll be very nice and pretty and you'll be able to share it with your, if you're an artist, you'll be able to share it with your friends so they can see your work and read up on your uh, artist statement and description and hopefully come away with something uh, 
after spending hopefully what is you know quite a bit of time on the website and really um you know uh being thoughtful and examining the works and not just you know clicking right through and looking at the pictures i really try and my goal is to kind of force people to that last page where they can read up on that uh what the artist had to say so and then now the last thing i wanted to do was actually walk through I'm gonna walk through quickly, walk through the exhibition, but I need to switch to my phone. So give me a second here. All right, so here we are in downtown Dayton. Hopefully you can hear me. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yeah, good, good, good. So here's the pop-up location for the space. I got, I have it all covered up right now so people can't get a, a sneak peek till Friday. <laughs> so there's still some work to be done. Everything is installed. Um, I have some descriptions. I, I still have to add the descriptions to the wall, uh, do a little touch up painting. But like I said, I'll walk through real quick so you can get an idea of the space. And then, um, where's Kate? <laughs> one, of, one of the artists is here. So I want to introduce yourself. I'm, should, I, should I ask you? you can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Kate Sanchez. Um, I'm looking to that and show. I decided that I could come down to the whole time. See it right as well. Okay, thanks. So, hi, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me walk you over to her piece. Mm -hmm. So again, we'll have descriptions up by the time uh, Friday gets here, but this is Kate's piece here. River and Root, I got that right. River and Root. And Caustic, if I'm saying that right. And this one of those pieces that is great if you can come and see it in person. Uh, so you can see this three-dimensional quality here, but it's hard to see that sometimes on the computer screen. So hopefully, Everybody listening will get a chance to uh, come in person and visit the show. So like I said, I'm going to walk around quickly, give you an idea. Some things may change between now and Friday, but for the most part. And then I have a special piece that's going to go in this little location here that'll get revealed on Friday. It's a big secret. <laughs> Molly, you your pieces. And Brian. So it's a, that just gives you an idea of what the space looks like. Like I said, this is a pop-up location. This space was um, an empty old laptop repair shop. That's where we get this big desk from. But so we had to renovate it, paint it, get it together and make it into something nice, which I think it is. And then come Friday, we'll get all the natural light back in here that we're missing right now.
May I just say something, Ed? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was just um, struck by the fact that how even the fact that, you know, this is a pop-up exhibition and you're activating kind of this space that was, you know, um, being unused, it seems to also fit in so well with the theme of the show itself, right? Kind of moving away from just kind of, you know, your like the white cube gallery model, right? That we are so used to in terms of kind of the traditional gallery. And um, I really appreciate that, right? And even in terms of the, the process of putting the show together was also part of the, the thematic component of the exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and you know, that's one of my things too. I mean, even the last space I was in was um, it probably had more of a museum feel than a gallery feel. Um, I'm just, you know, not always uh, traditional when it comes to anything. So um, I definitely agree with that and appreciate that 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 comment. So, so the cat is not happy about being moved. <laughs> okay. So, and I don't know if anyone has any questions before we wrap this up because that's really all uh we have for today but if anybody has any questions maybe just uh send it in the chat and i'm i'm trying to get my phone off because i got a echo right now but yeah if anybody has any questions i'm gonna look through the chat for a minute also people can feel free to turn on their videos right if they want to ask a question uh if well yes and no or, or uh, yeah <laughs> if not because I, I had turned them off in the beginning yeah i mean if they want to if they want to ask a question was let me see yeah and i don't even know how to turn them back on Oh, no, 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 people can turn theirs on. I was just saying that if they want something, you know, if they want to ask something um, that they can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, no, yeah. I had it in the settings. In the settings, I had it turned off. Ah, okay, okay. But I think it's open now. But again, yeah, either in chat or... or um, if somebody waves, I'll unmute them, I think, too. This is my first time hosting, so I'm getting used to all these controls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, thanks for the comment, Rusty. I appreciate that. Greg, same thing. Well, I won't hold everybody. It's a beautiful day. Hopefully it's a beautiful day where you are. Um, hopefully you're following. Um, the gallery on Facebook and Instagram, because next Friday, starting next Friday, it's gonna get flooded with pictures and videos and different things of uh, the exhibit and people coming through. So uh, hopefully you're following that. Uh, again, uh, on the website, I'll have links to different things, including uh, the judges uh, uh, art pages. And yeah, so uh, again, um, Check the comments one more time. Let's see. So, yeah, the link won't be for the website. The link won't be live till Friday. I'd like to say one thing as well, Ed, if you don't mind. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, just an idea as well. I think uh, for the artist, this show, it really lends itself to a lot of things happening in the media now, right? So the news is always reporting on a lot of these issues. And, you know, um, the press is really, you know, loves to talk about these social issues now. Um, so as artists, sometimes if you don't already do this, um, it's a great also opportunity to get exposure for your work and also for the show. If you reach out to your local, you know, newspapers or, you know, whoever does your local news, um, I'm sure they'd be really interested to see that a local artist is, you know, producing work to, um, 
to bring awareness to these issues, you know, just an idea. I think it would be really interesting to, you know, share that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, definitely a good idea. Um, I'm glad you said that too, because I did want to mention something I had been thinking about is uh, this call started last year, uh, last November, I think, for this show now. See, we're in May now. And so a lot of this art was, you know, obviously created previous to that. But most of the art that's in here is still in the news weekly, if not daily. So it's just, um, and one of the ones there's, you know, a piece on gun violence. And that's one of the ones that just stuck out because, you know, during the pandemic, when it was at its, I guess you call it this peak, you know, we didn't hear that much about gun violence. And then all of a sudden, when it warmed up and things start easing, now here it is back in the news again, you know, every week, if not every day. So it's just so many items, so many um, of these artworks are just, I mean, they're all so relevant, but it's just, again, it's just amazing that, you know, six months goes by or a year or whatever it is, and here we are, this artwork is still just as relevant today as it was when the artist created it. So, you know, that, I don't know exactly what that says, but, you know, again, I, I know that means we need to keep talking about it and, and you know, finding ways to, to do something about it. So again, we're not having this show, you know, 10 years from now, <laughs> but okay. Uh, anybody else, Ann, Ann, you have anything else? No, I just wanted to, you know, I mean, just really impressive, like, and so honored to be part of it. But as you're saying, um, I think it is important that we keep at it, right? Mm -hmm. And not get tired, even though it seems like there are, you know, yes, problems that are continuously happening, but we have to believe that, you know, because we all make art because we believe in the work, right? We believe in the work, we believe in the process, we believe that, um, like by making them thinking about them, sharing them and disseminating them, like how people are doing um, and in this time in a physical way, but it's also virtually, right? So our the reach can be wider, right? Um, I think it's it's so important, right? We have to fill the the world with with this type of art and not just um, you know, and not just things that are decorative, right? That is kind of my my personal view. So I just want to thank the artists again for um, for the, the dedicated practice, right? And it's really, truly inspiring. Okay, and I think we'll leave it there. Thank you so much, artists. Thank you, judges and everyone. Keep up the good work and let's look forward to a great show and we'll end it there. Thank you. Thank you.